Hello everybody and welcome to the second installment of our virtual meet and greet. Last week you got, got to see Rusty running through the hallways with his balloon and this week we're going to go into the purple room and we've actually got six cats in here <laughs> to discuss today so everybody grab your coffee or an extra biscuit or whatever you're eating right now and uh, if you're eating you're probably inside most likely so <laughs> just hunker down settle down and uh, get ready to meet some kitties okay so here we go hey kitty cats what's going on in here hi sweeties hi come on oscar hi oscar how are you sweetheart hello kitties and there's little violet too is everybody coming out to say hello look it's okay they wonder why all the cameras are in here. They're excited, you can see, though, at the same time. Look, sweetheart. Hi, Oscar. Hi. Look oh, at hi, you. Buddy. And there's Maverick. Hi, guys. We've just got a lot of kitties to discuss, so I'm just going to be talking about them kind of as they appear on camera. So let's talk about Maverick first. And he is the giant cat you see here that is um it's actually what we call a blue color cat and um he's actually been with us since um last october so try to get a better angle he really loves to be by feet guys oh, yes. so maverick where are you going maverick? <laughs> maverick is a friend to all humans and all cats and um he's kind of like the um much revered patriarch of the room. You've got, uh, there he is. All right, Maverick, look at you. That's a good spot. Maverick, look, you can see out the window, huh? Maverick has actually been in two different rooms in our facility and he embraces wherever he goes, whatever cats are in there. Um, we kind of joke that he's a giant living plush toy because you can squeeze him and love on him and he's super soft. And I'm probably talking a little too loudly. Sometimes they don't like that. So if they're shying away just a little bit, it's only because they're not used to me being so gregarious, I guess. <laughs> right, Maverick? So that's our little Maverick. And maybe we should talk no about... about that. <laughs> no, let, no <laughs> little right. about that. He is, I mean, he's a, he's a sizable guy, but, but he's really just very muscular, yeah, right? He yeah, he really is muscular. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> he's like, that's right. And that's he loves to play. There's the bird. Oh, did you see a bird? He loves to play with any toys with a laser. He loves to play with the other cats. So we're going to get out the laser here in a little bit, too. Mm -hmm. So that'll be fun. We'll just go right to her. Yes, Harper. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, nice kisses, Harper. Yeah, what a love bug you are. Now, we've had Harper since last summer. Hi, sweetie. You gonna show me your little tummy? Look at you. She's been here since last summer. We actually got her because she had an owner that rescued her when she was just a little kitten, and he bottle-fed her and everything. And unfortunately, he fell ill and um, had to give her up to us. So we took her in. And the funny thing was, we, we thought we were just getting Harper, but she actually had three little kittens inside, <laughs> which we did not know about. Right? You were hiding it well. She was holding in her stomach when she got here, like, you know, don't look, it's fine. So, <laughs> so we had no idea. And... Um, Sure enough, she had her little kittens here. I think our vet tech got here one morning and she had had one already, like overnight. So that was pretty exciting and always makes for a, a fun day. That's <laughs> how we get the day started here. Here's a kitten. <laughs> Look at you, sweetheart. Now, Harper here, she's also a love bug. She will sit in your lap. She loves to play. And she and Maverick are really good buddies. And they've been together in every room that they've landed in here. Mm. And something else that you should know mm. about Harper is she actually did get adopted at one point. And um, through no fault of her own, the resident kitties there just didn't want another cat in the house. So that happens sometimes. I mean, all the cats in here are very accepting of her, of course. But in that particular home, um, they just those kitties weren't ready for another kitty. However, there was a dog there and she made really good friends with him. I think he might have been a greyhound. Oh, wow. I can't recall, but um, yeah, so she made, I mean, that's pretty funny to think about little Harper here mm -hmm. with a giant greyhound, but you know, whatever. So she's dog friendly. Yes, everyone. she is. Hello, sweetheart. 
She's ready to play right now, I can tell. So maybe once we get the laser out, right, Harper? She's like, let's do it. <laughs> Love that all she, the kisses. Nice kisses, miss. Thank you, Harper. I feel honored. <laughs> so that's kind of the history with these two right now. I hope I'm not going to quickly or anything. And if anybody has any questions, of course, ask us. So, all right, let's go. I'm going to maybe be just a little quieter over here because Oscar is not used to me talking right. in that, that loud tone. And I'm going to move a little Hi, slower. Hi, sweetheart. Oscar, can you come see me? Hello, my sweetheart. Oscar. Where are you going? Oh, I he, love his little voice. He makes these little chirping sounds. And he is also, as you can see, a total love bug. He also loves to play, and again, when we get out that laser, you're going to see he has a very funny way of running, so we need to demonstrate that. But Oscar and his sister back there that you've seen kind of running around, that's Violet. And it's kind of a special day for them today because they are both turning one year old today. Oh, what? Happy birthday! Yeah, so Yay. it just kind of all worked out like that, you know, just some cosmic force at work here. So anyway one year old and you can see they're pretty small little kitties and he's like a little butterball you just want to squeeze him just like maverick maybe i have a problem i don't know <laughs> a lot of squeezing going on in here okay. all right so anyway um the story behind these two is we actually got them three months ago as of today so all these little connections here mm -hmm. um both Oscar and Violet came in here and they were actually stray kitties and they were very shy and under socialized. And so when we get in cats like that, there she hi, is. Sweetie. Hi. She'll zip. Oh, hi. You want to look? There you go. That worked. Just a little shout out. And if we get a good look at Violet, she's got an upside down heart on the front of her face. It's really cute. Just beautiful markings, both of these cats. There but, we go. But anyway, to continue on this story, they were very kind of under socialized and shy and so basically after they got out of our intake area they went into an office with our executive director paula which you'll see her in a minute and um that was to get them used to being around humans hearing human voices all day and then we would have caregivers come in throughout the day and present them with wet food and the point of that is to present them with the food and then also talk hi talk hi, talk lovingly to them and get them to trust you and associate people with food so that's it's all about gaining trust and just getting them more socialized so fast forward they went to their own little private suite here just the two of them continued to blossom and then they went up front to one of our big adoption rooms and that's where they landed with maverick and harper and the beauty of that i think that was wonderful for them because then they kind of learned how to be you know, more domesticated cats. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that they get along with the humans, but they also needed to meet new cats and kind of figure out how to be a cat and play and be relaxed and all those good things. So the four of them have been together, you know, a lot. And they and this is like the room of love. Love and playtime. <laughs> and if you ever wanted to be greeted by kitties, this is the room. So I think they're a little sleepy today. That sometimes they're not used to people like midday, like mornings and evenings, they run out to meet people a little bit more, but they, they did great. Right, kitties? And Violet? Yeah, so maybe we should uh, get the laser now. I think Ooh. so. Okay. I think they're, that sounds they're nice. Okay. I think they might need Patiently. kitties and The other ladies. ones are sleeping, but. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. All right, who's ready for the laser? Come on, kitties. Come on. They know they're being watched. <laughs> Come on. Look, kitties. Play like you normally do. Okay, bye. Go get it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, here she goes. Bye. Come on, kitties. You know, Maverick and Harper really also love this laser, but again, it's the midday thing, so I, I don't... There you go. Come on. You can't see the length of this room, but sometimes we can get them running like laps around the room, <laughs> which is like super fun. And try to avoid collisions. Come on, kitties, you gonna play some? Look at that. Go get it. Go get it. 
a fun trick I like to do is put the laser on top of their paw. <laughs> and they try to, it's just really funny. I don't know who to has... To you, maybe. I know, yeah. A nasty <laughs> trick, maybe. What is that? Or sometimes I'll put it in the water. Oh. <laughs> Hours of entertainment for me. Right. Look at that kid. See what he does. You guys like this little laser, huh? Look, look, kitty. Let's show them the trick. <laughs> he just does this, you know, hand over hand kind of thing. And Anne, why don't you tell people how significant a under-socialized shy cat to playing to get to this point? Yeah, because they don't is... know about toys because they've ever seen one, exactly. let alone a laser. So, um, what? Uh, it's huge. Who helped? in getting them here to this stage in their yeah. in their life? Well, first of all, it is um, absolutely huge, this point that they're at right now. And I'll tell you, when they got here, they were literally hiding at the back of the intake area, and they did not want to have anything to do with humans. They were afraid of them, shaking. I mean, there was no personality, basically. Right. You know, it's hard for them to even eat in front of people. They would wait till people left and then eat. Um, so the process had to be slow enough where we didn't, you know, take them completely out of their comfort zone. And so that's why it's baby steps, like baby steps to a, a slightly bigger space um, with one human, with maybe a few humans added in now and then, mm -hmm. delivering the food to show them that humans are good, you will get this reward, they are helping you, but all of this takes such a long time. I think. They were in your office, Paula, for what, maybe a month? Yeah. Yeah. That was a whole month of just that. And then to decide for them to go to their room, it's almost like you're starting over just, I know. <laughs> you're starting over just a bit because then there are no humans in there full time and you've got humans going in and out. But then they start to realize, you know, this is okay. They're safe. You know, they're no longer outdoors. So they don't have to worry about those things. But to Paula's point, too, they had never seen a toy before. They don't know what that is. I mean, being outside is all about survival and, and you know, having to maybe kill your food and things like that. They and, don't have uh, to kill their mice anymore. Exactly. Their toy mice. It's just for fun now. It's killing for sport now. <laughs> <laughs> it was for um, survival, and it's it's not about playtime. It's about go get the mouse to survive another day. So, so anyway, now it's just all about the fun, and honestly. It's, it's shocking that it's only been three months and they're already Oh gosh, yeah, stable. absolutely. And adoptable. Yeah, one of the most amazing things I've ever seen yeah. in here, just seeing the transformation. So, yeah. Maverick, I want Maverick to run again because he is, so and credit to our staff and volunteers and all the people who are so patient and kind and not pushing these cats to be something they're not, but just you know, giving them what they need and getting them to be their best. Oh, nice, bud. Cat self. Right, Maverick? Look at that kitty. You got it. There you go. These two love each other, too. And Oscar also loves Harper. Every, this is love fest in here, okay? <laughs> to the humans, to the cats. It's such a fun bunch, right? There you are. Hi, Mav. So, anyway, um,. Paula, do you think you want to talk about? Sure, the cat's in uh, yeah. in transition. Yes. Okay. All right. So we're gonna pass over the med again yeah. to Auntie. Yes. I'll see if I can operate this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Just hold this, like you know, so it doesn't pull out. Okay. But you can see it right here. Oh, got it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right, everybody. So we're gonna meet. Um, so this cage in here is a transitional cage. So everybody who has cats knows that you can't put. Um, adult cats with adult cats and say, hey, good luck, get along, whatever. So when we have animals that come from intake, like Anne was saying, that, you know, Oscar and Violet, you know, integrating, is we put them in this very, um, very spacious uh, cage, and it always has a cat tree and cat scratcher and everything, that toys, everything, so that everybody can sniff and, and, you know, do their hissing and growling if they needed to, but actually this, that never happened here. Um, and then we slowly integrate them into uh, general population, as we call it. And out here is all general population. Yep. Once they are uh, integrated and nobody is 
I should talk to this camera. It's okay. Eh? Sorry. Yes. It's okay. Um, so <laughs> I haven't been on camera hardly at all people this week. What we're trying to do, yeah. you know, with the two cameras, why sometimes it seems like we're averting that. Yeah, I know. Case, but we're not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, it's just that. Um, once the once everybody's integrated, this door will just remain open, and it's just another space of the of the room. So in here we have Sweetie and uh, Brent. So I always want to call him Moose. <laughs> right. So Sweetie and Brent are in here. I'm just going to close it just so the other. Well, no worries. Just, yeah, just like this. Um, so Sweetie and Brent came in. Um, uh, unfortunately, they were delivered to our back door um, at the rescue. Um, it was a little bit of a surprise for us, um, but apparently someone could not take care of them any longer and handed them off to us um, with a little love note, but mm -hmm. that's okay. Um, so we've taken, um, we took them a little bit to, they were quite shy when they got here. Um, but once they got out of intake, um, Sweetie especially has really just taken to, now she's acting like a normal cat, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, she was, uh, and I said this on the other video, is that she was wanting pets but then growling at us. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what that was about. But, well, I um, think it's a woman with mixed signals. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, so she's just like, I mean, how cute is she? Mm -hmm. So uh, we think we're calling them siblings. So you guys, if you can bear with me real quick, <laughs> just so we can, I want Brent to come out. Yeah. Is that okay? Okay. So Brent is a little on the shy side. He has this cute, he's this gigantic cat. And he has this cute little chirp. I know you're gonna you're gonna do it. Come He's on like, up. well, okay. I know. <laughs> but sweetie wants attention too. Come on. I know. Oh, you see him, you guys. Look at how cute he is. I wish he'd come out. Come on, Brent. Um, very sweet cats. Like I said before, there was never when we put them in here. There was never any aggression towards the other cats, as far as you know, growling, hissing. Oof, we um, um, they're just <laughs> very, very, um, nice. Um, I, they're going to be fine once they get into a home. Good job, buddy. They were, um, just, I get, you know, I'm sure they were just a little traumatized by the experience, mm -hmm. uh, which anybody would, human or cat. I'm right? loving sweetie right <laughs> now. This, this complete relaxation know, pose. Yeah. <laughs> These, God. really, I mean, really a great pair of cats right yes. here. I mean, everyone in this room is so, yes. so, so awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, yes. awesome is a great word to describe everyone in here. Yeah. Um, and then today, Auntie, she is going to integrate uh, Brent and Sweetie into the room. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, so they'll be partners in crime with everybody else in here. Yeah. And be playing and with the laser. Yes. And, uh, yeah, these are, these are great pets, man. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful animal. So we've got a, if you can't see, you know, she's a torty. Mm -hmm. So Sweetie's a torty. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And then um, Brent is a uh, brown tabby, but he's got a very striking face. Yes. I know, they all love this. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sweetie's so, little, like, chin color she has. She's got the little yeah. thing there, yeah. Her little Aww. soul patch. And you guys, this makes us really, like, she was, she worried us. She's, we're going to hold hands right here. Aww. Um, She worried us because when she came, she had a fever, not eating. They spent two weeks in the litter box. Like, they were just, you know, shell-shocked. And that just happens. I mean, re regardless of whether you come in from the a stray or, you know, somebody had owned them. Um, it's just really, you know, can be traumatizing, but we, um, we really just, uh, kind of hovered over her a lot and got her past the whole thing. So now she's super duper ready for her next home. Right, sweetie? She's like, yeah, get this going. <laughs> get this show on the road. So that's these guys. Um, so I'm sure everybody on, uh, who's listening and watching wants to adopt at least one of these cats, yep. right? Why not? Why not? That's what we say. Why not? Um, so I'm going to go to this one. Um, 
So how we, can you do that? We are um, doing a, a lot of virtual appointments because we want to stay safe and we want the public to stay safe. So um, how you can reach out to us is go to our website on the adopt uh, tab and uh, go to, we have an online um, uh, adoption consult form, fill it out, and then we'll get like cyberspaced over to our adoption uh, coordinator, Kathy Blazo. She's at CATS, C-A-T-S, I know, how cute are we, <laughs> at fearlesskittyrescue.org. And, you know, there's uh, other cats in the building, but you can see just how wonderful we have, you know, the, um, the kitties that we have here. Um, we're and all of the um, uh, this you know doing this virtual thing is because of COVID-19 obviously and we're just trying to continue to save continue to adopt um, and that's why we're we're doing this every <laughs> Thursday at noon yeah. Yeah. this is Thursday at noon with everybody so um, Auntie, you want to kind of sign off with just holding that? Yes, and so you can't see me. Yeah. I'm behind. <laughs> um, I guess I did want to mention, I forgot to talk about Maverick's age and Harper's age. Harper's just one and a half years old, and Maverick is just getting ready to turn four. But as you can see, full of vim and vigor and playtime and cuddles, plush toy. So, yeah. yeah. Harper's playing, you know, she's, she's yeah. being shy, but... Yeah. She's really not shy. I don't know why it's the camera... It's usually bing, bing, bing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. She's not normally like that. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Awesome. Yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Signing off, everybody. Signing off. Thanks for another noon time. Yes. Thursday noon time. Oh, okay. We did get a question last oh, second. Okay. Um, yeah, Ser yeah. Serena, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, um, are all of these cats bonded pairs? I mean, not technically correct but correct. but they do get along yes. right yes yeah but, but besides these guys yeah you could pick any of them yeah so harper can go with oscar and exactly. violet can go yeah. with maverick yeah and any combination any yep. combination yep. agreed yeah yep. um, we don't know about these guys these sure. obviously are you know coexist together right yeah. right um, but yeah thanks for the the um the good question, question serena that yeah. is definitely a good question yeah. mm -hmm. so all right i was wondering why no one had asked if they could adopt me today yeah <laughs> well no, i we mean we covered that one. yeah we covered yeah, she barb returned a lot barb did say go ann like oh, okay. in the beginning okay. but i was like oh i'll tell you after yeah, but okay. that way there's just a little extra pep in your step now yeah. <laughs> thanks barb for yeah, thanks, barb. yeah. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Oh, and then if you only wanted one cat, that that's okay, right? I mean, that's, that's okay. these yeah. just these guys just get along. Yeah. So, if you did want more than one, you would really not have to worry about oh, would Oscar do well with Harper, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right. But if you just wanted one, you can see that they're individually so great too. Yeah, yes. exactly. So yeah. yeah, the first step is just. Get a hold of us. Come on, we've got great <laughs> cats, man. Yeah. We you know, we Season wanna eight. Yeah, we wanna pass the baton off of you taking care of them and, and uh, if you're sitting at home it's the perfect time to integrate or just get to know your new kitty or yeah. you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So we look forward to hearing from everyone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you knew you if even if you have a cat right now. They're like potato chips. You need another one. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thank you, thank you for participating. Bye. Bye.